Hi students, let's look at question 5, workbook page 89. So first step, highlight all the keywords, parallelogram A, B, C, D, angle A, D, C equals to 108, E lies on A, B such that angle B, C, E is equals to 38. So now, given that angle A, B, C equals to 99x, so where is it? So angle A, B, C, this angle here is equal to 9x. Find the value of x. Okay, so in a parallelogram, the first property that you need to consider there are two types when you deal with angle. So for parallelogram, okay, let me write down first. So for a parallelogram, right, when, whenever you deal with angles, there are two very important things that you need to take note. First one is the interior angle between two parallel lines. So in this case, right, we can consider um, DC is parallel to AB. So that means these two interior angle between the parallel lines they are, they add up to 180. So for the next one, for a parallelogram especially, or rhombus, because um, rhombus is a special case of parallelogram, we need to consider the opposite angle also. So for opposite angle, in order to satisfy this criteria, you need to have two pairs of parallel lines. Okay, so in this case, right, for part one, we'll be making use of the opposite angle. So this one, let me write down the steps. So in order to write the properties of opposite angle, this is how you write opposite angle of parallel logram. So let's write, so let's write down the statement. So we know that angle a d c no let's start with angle a b c because this is what you're trying to find angle a b c is equals to angle a d c and why is it so because it's 108 degree because they are opposite angle of parallelogram So since I know that angle ABC is equal to 108 now, I can equate the equations that 9x degree equals to 108 degree. So in order to find x alone, it will be 108 divided by 9. So in this case, it will be 12. So x will be 12. So make sure that your x right have no units because in this case, x over here, the degree is written outside. So that means x has no units. So moving on to part two, they say right, find angle DCE. So where's angle DCE? D, C, and E. So actually it's these small parts over here. Okay, so whenever we are trying to find an angle right at the corner, right, of a quadrilateral, we always need to find out what is the total angle in this region, this one, total angle, and after that, then you subtract one of them to get this angle here. So in this case, right, since it's a parallel lines, so the first thing you can consider is to use interior angle between parallel lines. Since in um, part one, we have already used opposite angle, the next one will be more likely to test about interior angle between parallel lines. So in this case, I write down my statement. So angle ABC plus angle BCE plus angle DCE is equal to 180 degree. And why is this so? because their interior angle 
between parallel lines. So in this case, DC is parallel to AB. So once we have this statement, we can replace the values of the angle. So angle ABC is 108, and angle BCE is 38. So angle DC is what you're trying to find. And all this thing, all this angle equals 180 degree. So you know to find DCE, straightforward, 180 degree minus 108 degree minus 38. And this will give you answers of 34. 34 degree. So 38, 38, yes, 34 degree. So this one will be your answer for part two. Okay, so let me give you some tips on question six. So question six, right, um, is also a parallelogram. So whenever you think of parallelogram, there are two interior angle properties that you can consider. So interior angle between parallel lines, they add up to 180. And opposite angle, right, when you see two pairs of parallel lines, this opposite angle, they will be equal to each other. So in this case, what does it mean? It means that angle SPQ, this angle here, is equal to angle SRQ here. So that means 2x plus y, no, 2x plus 5 is equal to 3y. And in order to use the interior angle property, it will be x plus 25 equals to 2x plus 5. So this is how you form the two equations. So this one will be a, it can be considered a simultaneous equation if you um, make it more complicated or it can be as straightforward as a single um, equation solving. So in this question, it makes use of two properties, opposite angle and interior angle of a parallelogram. So now let's um, help, you, help you to form these two equations. So please pause the video, try yourself first before you watch the video. So for question six, I say that angle SPQ is equals to angle SQ. Why is this so? Because they are opposite angle of parallelogram. So in this case, since they are equal, I can equate the equations together. So 2x plus 5 is equal to 3y. So this is our first equation. So the next one. Angle SPQ plus angle PSR is equal to 180 degree and the reason being both of them they are interior angle and PQ is parallel to SR so they are interior angle between two parallel lines so in order to find the answers you replace the bed you place the angle with the expression so SPQ is 2x plus 5 and PSR right, is x plus 25. So now you group all the like terms together. x so is 3x three 3x three 
plus 30 equals to 180 degree. So in order to find what is 3x degree, you take 180 minus 30, if you 150 degree. So in order to solve for x, just take um, 150 divided by 3, which gives you 50. So you can remove the degree sign because you are removing degree sign on both sides. So x equals to 50. So after you find x equals to 50, you need to sum back into this equation 1. So substitute x equals to 50 into... You can put equation 1, you can put um, 2x plus 5 equals to 3y. I have no issues with either one of them. It's just that when you write equations out, um, there's pros and cons. Pros that you can um, see directly and just um, substitute. Cons will be that you might not know what the 1 represents. So 2 times 50 plus 5 equals to 3y. So you add them up, so 250 is 100, so it's 105 equals to 3y. And in order to find what is y, right, I divide both sides by 3. So in this case, y equals to 35. This will be the answer for x and y. So this is how I solve question 6. Thank you.